Hello, Gemini. Thank you so much for joining me at Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly angel advice oracle card reading for the week of September 25th through October 1st. My new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for taking the time to subscribe to the channel. I absolutely love doing this for you guys. The morning oracle cards, the weeklies, the love monthlies. The monthlies will be out on the 1st, for the 1st. Um, but really, the comments, interacting back and forth, I absolutely love it. So definitely keep the comments coming, the likes, the shares. It, it's amazing with you guys. You guys are awesome. Carissa Hanum was the winner of the Facebook contest. I have relentlessly tried to contact her. And, and I've been unsuccessful at it. So I am giving her until Sunday to respond. If I do not hear from her, I am going to pick another winner for the 14 card rating. I'm going to pick that on Monday, the winner. Anybody who wants to get in on that, the link to my Facebook page will be below the video. And all you have to do is just simply like the page and I will add your name to the list. This message must be important. This person. Okay, King of Fire, better known as King of Wands. This card comes from Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine's Angel Tarot. Both Tarot cards do, the Angel and the Fairy Tarot. Both by Doreen Virtue, Radley Valentine. So, we start off with the King of Fire. Um, Cancer and Leo, but it doesn't have to be. So, you know, for some of you, it could be you're very focused this week. You know, you're, you're full steam ahead. You know, devote your energy and time to a task at hand. You know, some of you are in a very um, strong position of leadership. You know, you inspire others with your enthusiasm. You know, you could, some of you could, all, you know, even receive some advice, you know, from, you know, someone who excels at creative solutions, creative thinking. You know, if it's someone new coming into your life, you know, he's definitely an honorable, an honorable person. A natural born leader with great charisma, charm, flair. You know, it could be head of a business organization that allows him or her to be, you know, initiative and accomplish great things, you know, creative, idealistic, ambitious, motivational, theatrical. General reading, guys, please keep that in mind. Gender does not matter. It's whoever it is. Private readings, it absolutely matters. And if this reading does not resonate with you, please, you know, check your moon or your rising sign. You know, I suggest you always check all three anyway. Especially your moon sign for career. Venus sign for love. And the three of summer. So we are celebrating as well. Also better known as the three of cups. Um, cancer, again, doesn't necessarily have to be, but cancer seems significant here. But, I mean, the three of cups is all about celebration, friendships, abundance. You know, in this deck... It's definitely joyful, good news. You know, you could be hearing something that's going to make you very happy this week that could 
really want to make you just get up and dance like they are. Just, um, oh, Newsworth, yeah, it says at the bottom, Newsworth celebrating announcements such as weddings, graduations, or births, friends you cherish. Friends you share your innermost secrets with. So whatever it is, whether it's this new relationship, this new person, or this creative idea, whether it's work or relationship this week, it looks beautiful, really. Archangel Michael. Spend more time outdoors. Yeah, why not? Just like they are. It's probably the last nice week for it. Not surprised to see this card come up for at least one of the signs. But, no, seriously, though, um, I mean, winter is upon us. I mean, if you like that white stuff, awesome. I, however, don't. I am a sunshine girl. But... Archangel Michael, you know, this card is a message asking you to go outside, contact with nature, the fresh air, um, you know, fresh air. It will help you, you know, hear the voice of the divine more rapidly and clearly. Natural settings will relax, ease your body, your mind. You know, think of going outside as, you know, an investment that brings huge dividends. You know, it's true. I mean, it's true for me. I walk every day. I try to get out. And it does... The body, the mind, and the soul wonders. Wonders. Okay, and then from... Archangel Gabriel, we have recognition. Um, I'm starting to feel like some of you could be celebrating recognition in a promotion, a leadership position in a job. You're celebrating outdoors you and your accomplishments are receiving appreciation and honors so this is really like you know recognition of of your efforts um it announces that you know you, you will be getting recognized you know for efforts accomplishments media you could be receiving media um you know, media attention, compliments, heck, even honors, awards. I'm seeing this, I'm feeling this more as a promotion, honestly. You know, for some of you, it could, it could signify your own, you know, self-recognition, you know, which is the key to high self-esteem. You know, you're going to celebrate, you know, with your friends. You know, whatever the effort is this week, whatever it is that you're manifesting this week, it's positive. I'm feeling like it's really positive. You know, you, you singles that aren't in a relationship... I mean, really, get outdoors. Hang out with your friends. Meet somebody. From the arch leadership. <sighs> Thank you, Spirit. So, um, yeah, leadership. This is from the Archangels by Doreen Virtue. And this message is for, from Archangel Gabriel. 
again. It's time for you to assume your leadership, power and position, and lovingly guide others. Wow, that's, that's, this is beautiful, really. So, I mean, leadership, I mean, you know, embrace the power in a loving way. Use it for the greater good. You know, if you're having self, you know, any self-doubts about this, this promotion, this leadership role, this, do away with it, replace it, replace self-doubt. You know, replace any self-doubt about your, your qualifications with, you know, an increased desire to serve, help, teach. You know, focus upon your strengths. I mean, you know, it's good if it feels like, you know, to be living, to be a living example of, of following one's divine guidance, you know, showing others, you know, your friends that you could do this. You have the power, you know, to, to take action, you know, take action. Move forward. Really, in whatever it is for you this week. I mean, Gemini, it's... Well, I guess not everything in life could be perfect. Okay, gossip. Okay, so the, I'm just going to tell you the way I'm feeling it. Unbelievable. So, if this is pertaining to work, okay... And you got, you know, this leadership position, this, this, you know, let's start here. I'm sorry. So you had a creative idea, you know, it, it put you in a position to where your creative idea inspired those around you. It put you in a position for a promotion in a leadership role. Promotion at work. Like, a big promotion, I feel like. Okay, now there's three people here and there's three people here. And these bitches, I'm sorry, excuse me, witches. You know, your so-called friends that are celebrating with you, they're happy for you. Are jealous. They're gossiping. They're talking about you. You don't deserve it. Gossiping with other people. But you know what? You, being the loving person you are. Because gossip... Really, and it's funny. I mean, just think about gossip, you know, for the week's focus. I never met a person I didn't like, okay? You know... You know, and when I see both of these cards together, it just makes sense. You know, they're your best friends. You probably tell them everything. You know, and allowing others to see into your heart requires great courage. Regardless of how others interpret, interpret, you know, their actions. You know, you probably, I feel like you know this is going on behind your back. I mean, this is probably for just one person, but... I got to call it the way I see it. You know, and this week, you know, the focus is on the power of being true to your own heart. You know, the message is to live through your heart no matter what the circumstances. You know, become aware of when you're seeing others through love and when you're not. You know, what is the cost of not being true to your heart? I mean, don't feel 
Like, you don't deserve this. Whatever this is for you. I mean, because that is not true. And I feel it, too. You deserve this position because you've worked hard for it. For others of you, I do feel like, you know, there is definitely good news and communication. You know, if you're waiting to hear from somebody regarding good news, communication, I do, that. that's going to, that's definitely going to come through this week too. You know, that I, I just feel like that person is going to recognize what he could be, what, what they could be giving up. And that's going to be reason to celebrate. Yeah, it's definitely a week of good news. For sure. And people, people gossip all the time. Who cares? Let them say what they want. It's not about them. It's about you. Really, if they're doing that to you at work, spend time outdoors away from them at work. You know, don't even waste your energy on this. It's not worth it. You know, they're just jealous because you got this. It's beautiful, really. Okay, Gemini. Beautiful message. Minus the gossip, but I don't feel like that's major. For you in the workplace, I do. Like, but you'll be fine. Just ignore them. It's only the week. They'll come around. Okay, Gemini, thank you so much for taking the time to view the video. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. You really, you guys should. I mean, it is excellent, beautiful energy. It really is. The energy is definitely there. And, um... I, I do think, too, you know, those of you looking for something new in your career, a new job, in a leadership position, that's possible. Okay, that really is all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic week, a blessed day, and I will see you guys back here with the Oracle cards. Bye-bye.